everybody, Max Scoville here with some IGN news from the distant future year of this year, 2015. A UK man has had his sight partially restored thanks to a cutting edge retinal implant. The implant converts images from a miniature camera worn on a pair of glasses. Ray Flynn, who received the world's first successful implant of the Argus II retinal device, told the BBC he is delighted with the results. Adam Jensen, meanwhile, never asked for this. According to the report, the device has been used previously to partially restore vision to those suffering from another vision-related malady known as retinitis pigmentosa. The successful operation on Flynn marks the first time the device has been used to treat age-related macular degeneration. Dry age-related macular degeneration is a condition that robs sight from the center of a person's vision as the macular tissue within the eye deteriorates. The retinal implant now in place converts the images picked up by the glasses mounted camera and converts them into electrical pulses. The pulses are then transmitted wirelessly to an array of electrodes attached to the retina. Makes sense to me. The electrodes stimulate the remaining retinal cells, which then send the information to the brain. The report goes on to say that two weeks after receiving the implant, Flynn could detect a pattern of horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines on a computer screen, something he'd been unable to do before the surgery. While the implant doesn't provide the sort of vision clarity present in normal vision, it does allow for the recognition of patterns such as door frames and other shapes, so luckily you won't walk into a wall. It's another piece of futuristic tech that's now a reality and far less terrifying than the Russian head trance proposed a few months back that we all thought was. Metal Gear viral promotion. For more on really weird science news, stay tuned to IGN.